Hi, and welcome to callcentervoip.com. That's center, C-N-T-R-E, voip.com. Freepredictivedialers.com with an S at the end and hosted-predictivedialers.com video tutorials. Today I'd like to uh, show you how to make a, um, a lead list in Vichidal due to a few customers' uh, uh, inquiries with me. Um, and while we're doing that, we also want to try and show you how to get rid of... Um, how to make your list randomized so it's not uh, the list that you originally get. You can totally randomize it quite easy in Office uh, in Excel 2003 and 2007. And also how to get rid of duplicate numbers in 2003 and 2007. Now, um, before we start, um, I just would like to say that um, I put these videos out so people can take advantage of uh, my expertise and hopefully support us by using our VoIP service, which is specially designed for Vichidar services. Um, all the call rates are available at uh, www.callcentervoip.com or actually any of these websites. So first of all, let's work on a, a list of just manufactured lists, and this should look something similar to yours. First thing you need to do as a beginner is put a heading on them. If you know what generally what you're doing, you don't need headers, but I would advise people to start with a header. Now I've made up a, a base list in here and I've also made it so it's got some duplicate numbers and I've had additional details. So um, we'll assume that this is the, uh, the first name. We'll assume that this is either the last name or maybe the business address or uh, something along those, uh, I'm sorry, the business name. Um, sorry, the business name or the, the, the last name of the customer. This would be address. This would be uh, suburb or city. This would be state. This would be postcode or zip for the US people listening. This would be the number. And this is just generic information that maybe you want to put in your list that has nothing to do with it, but uh, let's say this might be a loan amount. Obviously, sometimes you need to display more information for your agents than uh, what standardly happens. Now, before I go any further, for example, you can pretty much add any information you want, but first thing I'd do on your call list is delete any fields that are just unnecessary because it'll just confuse you and anyone loading your list. So I would get your list and I'd delete it down to just take um, each individual rows out and just delete all the additional stuff that really is unnecessary. Now when you get information like this where there's not a field for it, you can see the dialer platform that uh, is available for your agent to look at. Now as you can see there's titles, first names, middle names, last names, provinces, um, uh, alternative phone numbers, email addresses. Now, anything in here that you don't have in your lead database, you can positively use for additional information, just provided you and your agents know, for example, the loan amount, we might want to put in the email address, or if you think it'll fit, it'll go in a title if you're uh, due for space. So you just make sure that uh, your, your uh, people know what's going to display in what field, and you can add any information you want. All right, let's get started. All right, the first thing you need to do as far as preparing your list, you need two additional fields. First one is a list ID. Now, list ID must be a, a generic number that has is, is individual and doesn't match anything else in your database. So we'll call this, uh, um, I'll make this 10,000. And five, um, I suggest you make it lower than that, but I'm just using this for explanation. Make sure that gets copied all the way down on everything through it. The second thing you need to do is you need to insert a, um, a prefix. Either a prefix or a, um, uh, you know, it's a country code. For our VoIP, we, we need a country code. So let's assume we're calling a, uh, US, which is a one year override. If it was Australia, it'd be a 6-1 override, okay? So um, you'd add a 1 in that one, and you'd copy that all the way down as long as it's the one uh, country you're calling at one time. Now, just a uh, little bit of other information. For example, let's say um, you had characters in it. Like, for example, this was a uh, 1 with a comma, and uh, this one might be... Um, uh, 
six one with uh, sorry brackets let's say this number here had a, a dash in it and let's say this number here also had a dash in it, and so on now what you want to do is clean up your numbers to make sure that you get rid of all the unnecessary stuff that's in there so very very simple thing you just highlight it control F on a standard keyboard replace so let's say we want to get rid of a uh, bracket dash one you could easily go in and go bracket one sorry a bracket one and replace it with nothing replace all disappears all right for the second one we're going to replace that with six one you can see it here now it is gone for dashes same thing see it here and here replace all now they're gone another thing that you might come across which uh, might be a bit annoying is you might have a lot of spaces in them for that replace I've just hit spacebar and made a space this is replaced with nothing you can see the spaces there replace all now they're all gone so that's all just an easy way to uh, clean up your data all right, so as I said before, you need to add a list ID and a prefix. Next thing we want to do is um, get rid of duplicate numbers. And as you can see, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. It's repeated here. It's repeated here. It's repeated here. Okay, so very in Excel 2005, is a little bit more complicated, but still not hard. Uh, basically, you highlight the entire um, uh, columns. Then you go data filter advanced filter filter list in place all right unique records only this is column i so anything that's in there any numbers it produces make that an i and make that an i if you don't specifically If you don't specifically choose that column, it get rid of all the duplicates and all the areas, which isn't a very good idea at all. So if I push, push OK now, as you can see, it's deleted everything out and left individual numbers, but it didn't delete areas like this if I didn't choose the I column in that selection. Um, don't have uh, Office, two th I mean Excel 2007, it's even easier. In that scenario, you'd push data and it would open up a separate area along uh, the column here. You could say get rid of duplicates. When it comes up on select duplicates, it will have uh, tick boxes on all the columns going across. You unselect all those columns and then you select the one like either that will say number or I and you push OK on that and it'll get rid of all the duplicates and all the rows that are associated to the duplicates. Now, right now we have a uh, uh, have our data list prepared, need the prefixes, need the numbers, and this is your standard number ongoing from there. Okay, so we basically uh, save this in something that you can remember. Remember this list ID one, uh, 10,005 is very important and you must uh, remember that. Obviously, the common sense thing, it does, uh, Vichidol doesn't accept Excel. It must be a comma deleted text. If you're using something like this, you will see other comma deleted text in there. Um, is, I'm not sure whether it takes these ones, but uh, my recommendation is just keep to the first one, comma deleted. And once you do that, it will be saved. Just agree with it all the way through. And that's pretty much it for making a lead list. Now it comes to loading it. Okay, so you log into your Vichy doll.